Hi guys and welcome to 123MyOT. In this video, we'll look at how to stop your Android apps from crashing. When Android apps crash, it can be due to a variety of reasons, including issues with the app itself, the device, or the operating system. We will go through these steps to help troubleshoot and fix the problem. The first step is to update the app. To do this, open up the Google Play Store and tap on your account avatar or the three horizontal lines and go into Manage Apps and Device and then tap on Update All. If you can't find it, you might have a different Android device to mine. So the menus might be different, but the settings will be in there somewhere. So just have a look around. If you get stuck, just use the search feature. The next step is to clear the app cache and data. And to do this, you go into your device's settings and then you find your apps or applications menu. In here, just scroll down to the app that is crashing. In this case, I'm gonna use Chrome as an example. And we wanna scroll down to storage and then we can tap on clear cache. If clearing the cache doesn't work, you can also try clear data, but just be careful doing that as it might reset some of the settings or delete the app data. Also, depending on your model of Android, you might need to tap the free up space and the clear all data buttons. Okay, so step number three is to reinstall the app. And to do this, yes, we go back into settings and then apps and then scroll down to the app that you want to uninstall. And then down the bottom, we can select uninstall. And then you can simply go ahead and reinstall the app from the Google Play Store. Go ahead and reinstall your app and it's all too easy. Step number four is we're going to update your Android system OS. So this updates the version of Android. On the Samsung phone, it's under software update, but it might be under something like system and then system update for your Android phone as well. If you go ahead and then tap on download and then it will download the new version of Android or a updated version of Android and then it'll just restart your phone and you should be good to go. The next step here is pretty simple. It's probably the easiest one to do and that's to restart your device. The reason why you do this in, if one of the apps has crashed it may be stuck in the memory somewhere, and if you do a restart, it should clear that app from the memory. Step number six is freeing up storage space on your device, and you can find this under settings, and then device care on the Samsung. If you can't find it, you can always go to the top and tap on the search bar and search for storage. Cool, and down the bottom you'll have recycling bin, unused apps, duplicate files, and large files. And you can go in and clear any of these out, and that will give you some more storage space back. If you've got a different Android device, you can just simply tap on free up space. The next step is to check app permissions. If an app is crashing, it might be due to some missing permissions or conflicts with other permissions. Here's how checking permissions can help. To find it, go into settings and then find the app and then tap on permissions. And then simply tap on the app permission you want to allow. In this case, I'll select camera. And then you've got a couple of different uh, choices here. Maybe just tap allow only when using the app. You can see it's added the camera in now and it's allowed. And then just go back out and test your app again and see if it works. 
Booting an Android device into safe mode can be really helpful if you're trying to diagnose and fix any issues with apps crashing. To get it into safe mode, simply power off your Android device and then press and hold the power off button and then it will come up with the safe mode option. Safe mode starts the device with only the pre-installed system apps and services running. This means any third party apps you've installed are temporarily disabled. If your device doesn't crash in safe mode, it suggests that one or more of these third party apps might be causing the problem. Simply restart your Android device again to get it back out of safe mode. If all else fails and the app is critical to your usage, consider a factory reset of the device. Just bear in mind that this will erase all the data on your device, so ensure you have a backup before proceeding. To find it, go into your settings and scroll to the bottom and then to tap on about phone. Then go to the bottom again and tap on reset. And then scroll to the bottom one more time and tap on factory data reset. You will then get a list of everything that will be deleted and erased if you scroll to the bottom and tap on reset and then delete all and all your personal information will also go but it will get rid of any issues that you have with your android apps guys don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to set up samsung smart tag 2 also do me a favor if you know anyone who might like this video please share it with them Hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon for the algorithm. Thanks guys. Bye bye.